Hey, we're here hey. with Braun fucking Dabney, the Braun. fucking rock star, the rock star <laughs> from Crop. The rock that, and or roller. That Yeah, the definitely the rock and or roller. Uh, yeah, you, you only won. You don't get both. He, he plays bass and Crop, and he puts together benefit shows, which is what we're going to talk about tonight, and... He puts together legalized Lex, which is a fucking full time job in and of itself. So, Braun, thank you for joining me tonight. My cat yes. apparently wants to be a fucking video star today. I th- I think the cat hung out with us last time. She did, but she is like. Yeah. So I had another interview earlier today, and she has been so active. Like, look at this. Usually, yeah. she just kind of hangs out, like at my feet, or lays next to me. I mean, you know, she she's getting she's getting a part of it. She wants to be a part of the, you know, yeah. Well, part it's, of, a part of the, a part of the cast. It's been a crazy fucking weekend. We uh, yeah, that's what you were saying. One of the, uh, one of the LTL bands stayed here this weekend. Oh yeah, and uh, yeah, that was crazy. What days did they actually get to have that on? Was it just Sunday or no? It was Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, so just the Friday. Okay. Yeah, just the Slayer day they canceled, which is oh, the, yeah, the yeah. only reason I wanted so to. So Slayer out. stayed at your house. That's who stayed at your house, right? I fucking wish. <laughs> yeah, they saw the Cannibal Corpse poster. And they're like, that should be a Slayer poster. Yeah, I've actually got one. I just need to get. I, if I had a oh. fucking Slayer set list, I would I would do that. But that Cannibal Party Corpse poster Well, dope. I mean, we can plug them, tag them. Be like, yeah. Slayer, we need a set list. Slayer, we Signed. send them a set list. Oh, yeah, that's a yeah. good idea. That'd be cool sign too, you yeah. know. Like you know, just plug them, tell them, be like, "Yo, dog, yo, I'll put yo. it to good use. I'll I'll promote your band that doesn't need any more promotion than you already have, right? Because <laughs> you guys probably aren't going to play another show for another five fucking years. I mean, but they're good when they do it, so yeah, for sure. Well, let let's like let's jump into it. So obviously, you know we we just yeah. had Hurricane Helen Helene. Yeah, man. Uh, she, she came through and she ravaged, uh, Eastern Tennessee, North Carolina, uh, lots of other places in the South, but personally I'm, I'm from Eastern Tennessee originally, and I have a lot of friends in, uh, Asheville and, um, and, you know, uh, all the way up to Johnson city and back in all the, in those areas. And, uh, yeah, after watching all the reels and everything this weekend, it just really, uh, it hit that, you know, if, if people are going to do stuff, now's the time to do stuff. And. I talked to Murph and the boys and uh, we decided we already had this show booked and what better way to help out than something that we could just throw it right in, throw the money to it and yeah, get it rolling. So we decided to turn that, uh, that, that, that date into a benefit for a disaster in, uh, in uh, North Carolina. Yeah. So and it's, I, I'll tell you, I didn't know you were from Eastern Tennessee. Um, yeah. I, I, yeah. Well, fallen actually, but yeah, I'm, I'm from, uh, from Eastern Tennessee. Okay. Uh, and, uh, yeah, man, it's just like, it's one of those things you see all this stuff and you just like, you want to help any way you can. And like, obviously they don't need me down there helping. Like, not, I mean, you know, like, that's not, not, not true. The second. Well, not they, this second. Like you can't get there, you know, you, and I would have, go, ahead, but like, I, I just, I'll send you something. I just got offered a, a, well, I just saw something that pays, uh, five grand a week with a $2,000 a week, uh, per DM and they give you up to $500 for travel expenses to get down there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, shit, let's go help. Yeah. You know, that's actually awesome. Um, we should tag that. And then if anybody needs work or needs to go or wants to go or anything, that's awesome. That's a good way to get involved, but that's what yeah. this is about is just getting involved and trying to, you know, we're sitting here at Al's bar on, which is where the benefits at. That's actually where I'm sitting right now. We actually did an interview here once before, and it, we had to redo it. Um, yes, the the glorious first meeting of us. Yeah, you were at and, the pool uh, table. Yeah, 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 yeah. The hipsters walked in. I was like, "Get out of here! Arcade fire's not playing. Leave." <laughs> um, but yeah, I was sitting at Alice Bar on Sunday talking to my wife, and I was just like, "Man, I like we." I was like, "I got like just my heart's been so heavy for my friends," which today actually. Was a was kind of a cool day because after today I've heard from everyone I know in the area. Awesome. So, you know, I'm thankful that that they're all safe and that their families are safe. Um, I feel so heavy hearted for them and their loss and everything they've lost. 
and anything that that we can do to help that's that's where i'm at right now mentally is i just want to help you know i mean this what two years ago we had this happen in whitesburg and i had a bunch of homies like just lose everything yeah. and yet again now the now the mountains are ravaged again and by a hurricane nonetheless a hurricane takes takes out the mountains i mean it's it's insane this weather's insane and it's just getting worse you know between tornadoes and hurricanes and just all these disasters we're having i feel like now's the time if you're going to be involved like get involved be active and put your well, mouth is, where your money is that that's a yeah you put your mouth yeah. where your money is but that yeah, i think dude. you know it, it's like it's fucking terrible that you know all of this that this destruction happens but if you can take anything positive from it is yes. seeing so many people come together to help yep. that want to help yeah yeah uh, want to help man i've got a, a a guy that's got a fucking i don't hello sophia um she's like hey <laughs> um he just got a buddy of his to fucking fly a helicopter in there and take supplies and food and oh, shit oh that's awesome so i wish i had a buddy that had a helicopter i'd be there i just you, you know you and me both up streets like yeah. you know i mean i could i could move some heavy mach- machinery if there's something down there you know yeah but yeah they just it's insane and like i said i just i felt like this is the best way to start and this is the first step and just after this we'll keep doing more stuff and trying to help and provide as much as we can you know maybe try to find some other local people that want to do stuff. And I don't know, man, this is, this is just where my head's at right now is wanting to help people. So, well, so I'll tell you, you know, I, I did a benefit with, with a band. Um, uh, I guess it was 2022. Um, and I, I say we did a benefit, like they were playing a show and what we did is we got some posters together and they signed the posters and fucking sold them to to help raise money and we ended up raising uh we only did 50 posters dude so 50 yeah. signed posters uh, and i think we raised two or three thousand dollars damn that's good that's awesome yeah yeah I, i'm just hoping like you know us start this and like it, we were real lucky that we already had the date booked and that we were able to just like pull the gun let's do this and like and just go um and i uh I just hope this kind of sparks more in the music community of people wanting to help. And I've already seen more benefits pop up and more yeah. people wanting to come together and more people being about it. And even like, you know, bands that we normally don't play with reaching out and being like, yo, we would like to do something. And it's like, dude, like do it. Like just like, yeah. I mean, like you said, I book legalized Lex and like I, I did that on a hair and a whim and it worked out. And if you have a dream and a, and a, and a little bit of gumption, man, you can just you pull it off and do it. Your first one of you, I mean, I've been booking shows off and on since I was like 16 years old. And my biggest undertaking was definitely legalized. And I think all the mistakes I made along the way kind of helped me get to that point. But man, you know, just throw yourself out there and do it. Like, well, especially, especially in times like this, just do it. You're, you'll be amazed how much your friends want to support you. 100%. And how much the, the community will want to come around you. And that positivity and building community is what it's really all about at the yeah. end of the day. I mean, you know, We've played Asheville before, and they were always very welcoming. That's actually where I met Ramsey from Weed Eater the first time. Um, was was us playing, and then the the, the guys in Sunbear they played Legalized last. Yeah, I've actually like I've heard from from all those guys, Good. and you know, I just their positivity and taking away from it, you know, like the tremendous loss they had, but they're like, man, we're we're here, and I I know uh, I know some of them are out on. Uh, doing runs to get fuel and water and bringing it to people that are less fortunate. And these are guys that's lost stuff themselves. And they're like, no, there's other people worse than us. We need to help. Like, yeah. and it's just like, just that alone, cold chills, man. All week talking about wanting to do this benefit. I've just got cold chills. And I've always said, if I got cold chills, I'm on the right path. That's what I need to be following. That's what hundred percent. And this is like, you know, this is where it's at, man. This is just all. And, you know, normally when I'm talking, I'm like, I'm, I, I just like, this is one of those things like you know i'm normally telling jokes and jumping around and like doing all my stuff and this is just something that, like i feel so so heavy hearted about that I, I i i just i don't 
it's hard. It's, it's a hundred percent. Yeah. It's just hard. It's hard to talk about, but like, and you just got to start the conversation. Well, I, so and, I get it. I'm going to, I'm going to tell you here is, here is my experience with tragic situations. Yeah. Um, my little brother killed himself and that was, yeah. uh, that was what, five, five, five and a half years ago ish. And to have that conversation, to start that conversation was the hardest thing that I fucking did, yeah. but, but getting involved, right. It was like, I, yeah. I don't really want to talk about it too much, but I a hundred percent will get involved and do something like, yeah. like I will be at that fucking show. Right. Like yeah. I will be at that show. I will support any way that I fucking can. So let's obviously it's a great cause, you know, not a yes, good for cause, sure. A hundred percent great cause. So yeah. the bands we have on the bill, Oh man. Holy fuck. Do you fuck. want to go? Do you want to go or you want me to go? Let, let's can, dude. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's, let's just start with, we'll start with Pond Digger. Okay. Have, have you heard anything from Pond Digger? I yet? have not. All right. So those dudes, they're from, uh, they're from Richmond. And when this show was booked, they were one of the first bands I reached out to. And I was like, Hey man, like I want to get you the guys in Lexington. I would, I would love to, I think this bill would work real well for you all. And we, man, they were just like, they're super cool guys, and they got that like whole like like monolord, like really just like groovy, doomy, fucking just like like waves of cool noise coming at you, and the vocals are really cool, and and they're just like super nice guys. I was actually uh, talking to their bass player right after this got announced that like like I didn't talk to them about this being a benefit, and when I announced it, he 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 messaged me. I was like, man, I was just sitting here thinking like, how can I get involved? How am I going to get involved and do something for my friends? And then you posted this and instantly it was like, I am involved. I am involved. <laughs> like, yes, I'm already involved. Like, yes. Yeah. Like, and it's like that, just that alone, like, like people reaching out and be like, this is awesome. Like my friends from Louisville being like, we're going to drive down. Like people from Cincinnati, we're coming. Like, we're going to do this. Like all the friends and the homies in Lexington, like, you know, and it's just like, at the end of the day, like, cool, we can have a good time. And like, you know, like the positive spin is like like we're gonna have a good time, but the positive spin is like we're doing so much more than just having a good time, and it's right. so much more than just a show. And that's what you know uh, we were talking about. Follow yeah. that up. I mean, you got. I know your personal favorite on the bill is gonna be Bless Black. I know you like everybody and you love everybody, but I know I, how I much love you everyone. Love Bless Black. And I I know how much you love Bless Black. Hundred like, percent. I know for sure. Like I I think every time we talk. There's not been a time we've talked that you're like, man, that Bless Black song, or like, like you know, just I, and, and, little I mean, dude. I promise give them you, their flowers. Every, They're so good. Every so conversation good. that I have is, I, I, I'm like, I literally talked was talking to someone, uh, Cobranoid today. Uh, yeah, I was talking to them. Well, I messaged them because they're playing that High on Fire show out in Denver, I think, and I was like, hey make sure you go talk to their fucking tour manager. He's got this band that is out of this fucking yeah, world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? A guitar, is he tour manager too, or is he just guitar tech? He's a TM. Or is he all of it? Is he all of it? Yeah. I mean, he's Murph. He should be all of it. He does all he's of Murph. it, yeah. He, he's Murph. He's in charge, man. Like, he's. He, I love talking to Murph. He's so knowledgeable about yeah, everything. just the, 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 like, that side of the music world. Like, I've always been DIY. I've always tried to do things myself. Like, I'm a little unorthodox. Um, I can conform, you know, we, we play a show like the hippie death cult show. We like, I know how to, I know how to act, but like, man, I just like, I'm, I'm Mur Murph's just like his business side. just like, it intimidates the shit out of me, man. Like I'm business, but that dude's business. Yeah. That dude is straight up business and it's awesome. But he's so full of knowledge and he's so willing to share it. And that's what's, oh man. But, well, that's key, right? I, like that's, that's key here because yeah. like, obviously blessed black is still, yeah, I guess. I guess neither of you guys are technically DIY anymore because now you guys are are all on third house. Which... We're big label boys now. Isn't that crazy? Right? And like, you know, the first interview we did, like me and you had this conversation about, uh, like, I, I never thought that we were going to release a record. Yeah. The last time we talked and you're like, man, I think I know a guy. And then like, I, th I think, so that was the, the interview that didn't happen, but it happened. And then by the time we talked again, I was like, yo, dude, guess what we're doing? We're going to release a record. You're like, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, bro. What's up? Let's do this. I know. And I'm going to tell you, like, my favorite thing is, is you guys and Blessed Black both fucking putting out 
records with with Reagan and Third House. Yeah. And I've got test pressings from both fucking albums. And I and oh, obviously, dude. you know, as soon as pre-orders went live, I of course ordered also because Yeah, I yeah. Gotta have something to fucking listen to. And your records turned out fucking oh, beautiful, they dude. Sound, and they sound so much better than the like I, I like I, I was always like, man, it's not that big. Like I'm not an audiophile. Like I love records, but like you know, I'll listen to like Spotify and stuff, and I know like but Spotify, whatever. Man, they're all taking our money at school. Yeah. I'm not making any money anyway, so like I, you know, I don't know what to say. But like I tried Apple Music. I hate their algorithms. I'm not gonna lie. So I just went right back to Spotify. Um, but like, but man. When it's your own thing and you actually like pay attention to like the stuff you recorded that you thought was there but you never heard, like yeah. like Andrew's Tom parts are so clear on that record, and all my like all my little notes and Zach's little like 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 wispies he does, like you know like and just like Mark's voice and like the 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 harmonies he threw in there, like there's this there's parts that like it's eerie and it echoes and it's creepy and it's just like it doesn't sound like that on Spotify, right. and that's like that's what's cool. Like, that's what's cool. And we had it out for two years and I never even heard that. Like, that's what's cool. Like, so it like rebirthed all those songs for us. Like, it was really, yeah. really awesome. Like, like um, it's, it sounds fucking fantastic. I really like the black and red smash. Like, yeah, that smash turned out. And that was Reagan's idea. Reagan was like, man, yeah. we got to do black and red smash. And I was like, oh. And then Josh Flowers from Swamp Hawk, uh, he laid out the design for it all. And when he laid it out and we saw the whole package, we're like, man, this is like, gorgeous this is so gorgeous the only thing the only regret is there's not like a an insert with mark's lyrics and stuff and if i could go back that's but going to the next album like this is something or, i want to do or when um, it gets repressed right so you yeah, repress I mean, yeah, it. We're, gonna, we're, we're we've not got too many left so i mean we're really Good. close to spelling those out and i think reagan's not far behind um and yeah it'll it'll, it'll keep, keep going i mean keep it going yeah i mean we've, we've only played in a handful of states so far so who knows what uh well and and literally like holds. like how many how many people are are you know talking about you guys you know like yeah. like i i know obviously i i talk to people I, all out in fucking california that are like man i really want to see crop like yes you yeah, do man. and that's and that's so cool i i think my favorite thing of it all is i've never had so many homie bands like want to wear our shirts and that's real cool to see like Howling, Do Howling Giant like with them on and see Horse Burner with them on and, and see Temple the Fuzz Witch going out and playing shows and they've got them on. And it's just like, like Cadabra, uh, Cadabra, Cadabra posted a photo and their drummer had one on. And I'm just like, dude, this is so awesome. Yeah. Like, you uh, know, how like, fucking, you know, how good were they? Cause dude? I don't, I don't get to wear one. I won't wear my own band shirt. Like, you I should. mean, sometimes like I'll, I'll have one on, but it's just like, it's like, like, you know, like you're only allowed to wear the, the shirt of the band you're about to see. Or you're not supposed to, yeah. unless it's like ICP or Tool. Those are the only two bands that like you're allowed to wear the shirt of the band. Maybe Slipknot, also because it's Slipknot. Like may maybe any parody band. I don't know. I don't give a parody fuck. band, but like gimmicky band. I will. Um, I'll wear I, a shirt. Like I was like that it, for man. a long time. Like ah, yeah, hey, you know, I'm going to see them. I won't wear the shirt, but fuck that. Yeah, yeah, I'm a fan yeah. of the band. I want them to know I'm there to fucking see them. So so my band, I'll always wear the shirt of is Weed Eater because I have like probably 12 weed eater shirts at this point. Like I guarantee you, watch this. We're, we're talking about this. <laughs> I have a weed eater shirt on. Like I own every time I see them, I'm like, I don't have that shirt. Like I have the like 2021 psycho Las Vegas, like, like psycho Las Vegas edition. We do shirt, hack the sleeves off of it. Just like wear it. Like I love that. Like, but I have so many weed eater shirts. So like, I think they're one of the bands that like, I went to the show and accidentally had their shirt on. So it was like, Oh, well, if I'm here, so you yep. know, no fucking changing but, uh, it now. But yeah, maybe I should start rocking crop shirt. They're pretty cool looking, you they know. They are pretty like, fucking. I I literally like. We've had so much laundry, and my wife just did the fucking just. Well, we just finished the fucking laundry in the laundry room, yeah, yeah. and I was like, my fucking crop shirt. It's like yeah. literally as soon as it was clean, I was like, I'm putting that bad bitch on, uh, and you're gonna love this. Yeah. As much as I love Blessed Black, I don't have a Blessed Black shirt. I've got I've got one and my wife has one. And we both like are like, are you wearing it or I'm wearing it? Are you wearing it? I got the baseball tee. Oh, nice. And like I love a baseball tee. I love a base I like a long sleeve. All my t shirts become sleeveless, but like I can hold on to a 
a long sleeve or a baseball tee, unless it's my astronaut. I got the astronaut long sleeve and instantly pulled out a pocket knife and yeah. cut the sleeves off and wore it that day. And they're like, did you just cut the sleeves off of a long sleeve? And I was like, yeah, needed, they needed to be done. And I was like, I'm going to wear this more than it being a lot. If it's, if it's sleeveless. Yeah. Like, Cause they're like arm prisons. Yeah. Another band that has really cool merch, that fairy ring band. Man. Mm. And they're also playing the benefit. Isn't that neat? Yeah. And those, those gentlemen slay. Like their live performance is insane. Like they're, they're just, they're on a different world. Like, like they're like, there's a lot of doom and there's a lot of like, they just ride this line of like indie rock and doom so well. And like, they're one of those bands that man, they could, they could open for an arcade fire. They could also open for high on fire. Like, yeah. and it would make sense either way, man. And there's just they cross boundaries like that. I, I would, mean, I would love to see, you know, love to. Obviously, those guys are are also fucking workhorses, just out there yeah, constantly out there going, playing, playing, playing. I, I would love to see them get on some some larger tours and. Yeah, yeah, I think I think they uh, they they definitely deserve it. They've 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 been together for a while and they put the work in. They're what on album two or was that yeah, the I second album they released? I think or is that the third? I think it was a second. Well, we're, I'm not weary sure. Tra- I'm not I think sure. I feel like Weary Traveler was number two, but it was their first yeah. with um, the King guy. Volume. Yeah. Are you Are you sure their first one was a King Volume as well? I don't know. I'm gonna fucking look now. I'll yeah, yeah. Look that up. I don't know, man. I just like I don't know. I love that guy too, man. He uh, he his his TikTok game is on point. King Volume. Like, uh, yeah, Todd from King Volume. I think it's Todd. I'm like 90% short of mine. His TikTok game is just like killer. I mean, he has some of the funniest videos. And like, dude, did you see the one where he's got like the, the big strip, like the big like battle jacket on and the sleeves are like eight feet long and he's like slam dancing it. Like, don't come at me in the pit. Like stuff like, dude, it's so hilarious. Man. Okay. Weary Traveler uh, was number two. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. Because the first one yeah, was the clearing in 2019. Yeah. And... Uh, I th- I feel like the clear weary travels. Yeah, it was self released. Maybe. Yeah, and weary Sounds traveler right. was know. king volume. Yeah, they'll correct us. Like Cal will be like, actually, you guys are wrong. Do, 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 do. Or actually, that's right. He'll 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 let us know. Yeah, uh, in the comments somewhere. I fucking we'll love those dudes there. too. They're such yeah, nice man. dudes. Dude, hey, you want to talk about a band that like partakes in the in the herb? We them call boys. those burritos. Yeah, them them boys are. I think the only band like it's like I would like to see an herb off between them and Astronaut. Oh, like I mean, cause dude, those boys are from Denver, and that's a different world out there. Like I thought, I like I just hands down, like and, and dude, uh, when I talked to Rob, I don't think there was a minute that went by that he didn't have a joint in his hand. Bro, I was around him for four days, and the same. I think he sleeps with one hanging out of his mouth. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I just like that dude, like, and, and like, he'd keep handing him like, bro, I'm good. He's like, no, you're not. Fuck. And I'm like, peer pressure. All right. I guess I'm going to keep going. It's like, what's the worst that's going to happen? I'm going to fall asleep and eat some Cheetos. Right. Like, cool, man. <laughs> I forgot all my baselines. It's like, ah, it's all open anyway. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what a, and, and what a great show that was with fucking you guys and Temple of the Fuzz Witch. And yeah, fucking that was so not- cool. That was so cool. They invited us out for that. Like that was that like I think Hashtron initially extended the like, hey, yeah. do you guys want to do some dates with us? And we're like, oh yes. Yeah. And then when Temple got added, we had played with them at that wrestler show. And that's where we met them. And like we've we've been homies. Like that was just like we met them in those instant. Like, yeah, dude. Like yeah. we were dudes. Like, yeah, we're blaming again. Like, yes. And and they did the same thing. They're like, no, but we're gonna bring you in. And I'm like, Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I, I went up to Michigan for that high on fire show in May. That was like my fucking, that was, that was my birthday present. Like I'm going to see high on fire in Detroit. And I ran into Joe there and I'm like, Oh fuck. I thought you guys were playing a show tonight. He's like, yeah, I dipped out early so I could come to (laughs) like That's so Joe. (laughs) Oh man. that He's a wild boy. I love Joe. Yeah. Uh, so we were we were talking about it actually at that fucking at that show you all played uh at Green Lantern and, and Joe's like, Oh yeah, dude, last time I saw you was at the High and Fire show in Detroit. Yeah, yeah. 
Taylor goes, what were you doing in Detroit? Like, I went to the fucking High on Fire show. Yeah. He goes, you go up there a lot? I'm like, that's where I'm from, dude. Like, I, that's where yeah, I grew yeah. up. Like, I go up there all the time. He's like, oh, fuck. Yeah, that show was crazy. The Detroit show. We played this, like, it's called Cult Doom, and it's like a, a like, a, a sex dungeon. All right. Like, they, I don't know. They normally have, like, a pole, and, like, maybe it's burlesque, or maybe it's strippers. I don't know, like. Like they have beds and stuff in there. It's like, I mean, it's it's an interesting. It's, it's a really sex cool. club, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like I've never been to anything like that. Like you know, I've I've been married for most of my adult life. So like, uh, um, yeah. But I and it was like it was super neat. Like, uh, um, I mean, the 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 owner bartender just like kept handing us drinks. Which is like, here's drinks, here's drinks. You're gonna stay and hang out after the show. And I'm like, no, we're gonna leave. Look at this asshole. Oh, my God. What up? You got two crop boys right now. I do. He's wearing a Knock Loose he, shirt. He is wearing a Knock. He loves Knock Loose. We actually all love Knock Loose. I mean, that's like such Kentucky proud. Like Right. right. How you know, the fuck such can Kentucky you not? Pride. I actually ran into Kevin uh, Friday night. Yeah. I ran into him at the Kublai Khan show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Isaac played. Uh, at Magbar the night before or something, didn't he? He was there. I, I feel like I saw something, saw him playing. I, I don't know. Maybe it was the night before that. I, I don't know. A week, this weekend was nuts, like, because, like, so many pop-up shows. Yeah. Like, that. did you, did you, were you there after KublaCon when whatever band did the, the U-Haul show? You mean Hemorrhage? Oh, is that who it was? That's so sick, dude. That was such a, like, I was just like, dude, that's so dumb and awesome. And you pulled it off. That's so cool. Like, like that's yeah, that dude. is their thing. They yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. They they used to have a bus that they would show up and fucking play. They just show up to a show and so start do, like, playing. Like put, like hook up a generator outside, but like, or... no, no, they didn't have a generator. But I I don't know how uh, actually how they powered everything. But whatever they did, they fucking powered it, dude. And they like how long did they play? Like uh, 20 30, 30 or forty five minutes. 30? It was like thirty minutes. Yeah. I wonder if they just have like a bunch of power blocks, like those, like you know, and like in in case of emergency, like in a power like a TV and like charge a bunch of stuff, like in a power an amp. This a power an amp. This a power amp. This a power P. And let's fucking go, guys! Yeah. Like, dude. But that was sick. That's I love seeing bands like do that, like all the random Taco Bell and like fast food pop ups and stuff. It's like I want to do some cool stuff well, like that. The funniest thing is they played Maybe louder. Just, they played yeah. louder than life the next day. Ah, oh, so great. It's like we're bored, we're already here. Let's go play outside the Kubicon show. Yeah. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, now I think uh last night they played outside of the Lorna Shore show in Kansas City. Oh, they just go around, they're just always on tour, whether they're on tour or not. I love that. Yeah. We're on tour in a neighborhood near you. And I'll tell you, dude, they're the fucking nicest guys too. Like I bet they got some sort of like battery powered generator. There's gotta be I wanna know what they powered their stuff with. Like, I want to know this. I need this answer. I need to know. Was it hemorrhage? Hemorrhage, if you're out there. Uh, yeah. Legalize Braun on Instagram. Find me. Let me know what you powered your stuff with. I'm just curious. Yeah, they fucking <laughs> super <laughs> nice dudes. They they crushed it. Um, that, that show, I actually got a text that was like, hey, parking lot. I'm like side stage for Kubla Khan. And I get a text, yeah. hey, parking lot. And I'm like. All right, so I fucking walk out there and they're jamming and literally out come like Brad and Andy come out and Brad's like, I watched, usually everyone kind of mingles around and drinks and whatnot and like all of a sudden everyone just bolted out the fucking door and I was like, what the hell's going on? And yeah. everyone's fucking out at the show. <laughs> so who else played that Kubla Khan show? Uh, surfaced. Surface, okay, yep. yeah, yeah, they're yeah. Louisville, right? They're from Louisville. Yeah, I yeah, that's cool. If I'm not mistaken, I think the front dude JP is Kevin Kane's brother. Oh, that's cool. Heck yeah. Um, who was the fucking was the the middle band X Weapon X or something? Now I gotta look. Uh, oh no, it was. It was Sanguish Sugarbog. 
See, I asked because I wanted to know how to say their band name. Yeah. That's the only reason I asked. I knew who was playing. I just wanted you to say that band name. I still can't say it. I just call them Bog. I don't know. I'm just like, like I'll see a shirt. And I'm like, sick Bog shirt. I'm not like, yeah. I'm going to watch that. And I still like, you just said it and I still can't say it. Man. There's I no f- world where anybody with my accent can say that it's, name. There, there is. Proper. Look, Sangua. Sangua. Sugar. Samsung a boogie bug. Yeah, I got you. Sangua sugar bug. Yeah. San san what like sandwich. Like sandwich. Sangua like, like sugar bug. Sangua station. Sangua. Sugar. Right? Sugar bug. Like like that 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 sugar like sugar like that. Uh, yeah. It's just a down song and the bog. Okay. Yeah. Sangua sugar bug. Sangua okay. sugar bug. Yeah, it's not that hard. Man, we're learning things on the metal show. We are. Like, we are and now the band, and now here's the uh, the uh, uh, English lesson. Oh, I guess metal adjacent English lesson. So mm. I mean, it fits. It fits. It fits the, so it should be a segment you do on all your shows. Is like, how do you announce band names? Friday like, pull, or pull black metal logos and be like, so what does this say? What, is, what band is this? Uh, that would be funny as shit. Uh, oh, Friday man. Slayer cancered. Can- cancered. Cancered. Can- oh, I hope not. No, Slayer got canceled. <laughs> fucking friday yeah. and uh so they that's why a mag bar pop up dude they should have just showed up at mag bar and popped up that mag bar show was insane look there was yeah. uh there was three or four people that reached out to slayer about coming to portal and playing come on i know show up. we'll I keep it like, open i fucking i reached out to one of the techs and i was like hey dude like tell them if they want to play we yeah. can put them on fucking here, no problem. Like Motel Six, we'll keep the lights on we'll for you. We'll keep the lights on for you. Yeah, portal. <laughs> we'll keep the stage open for you. Come on down. <laughs> Come on down. Like we were oh, trying. Man. The guy who booked that that Kublacon show was trying to get them too. We yeah, were, yeah, oh, yeah. Fucking, let's make it happen. Um, yeah. So we, we ended up running into someone at the show that was like, "Hey, um, they're trying to get Slayer to play LTL on Saturday." That would have been insane. Yeah. I don't like, like, I hope Portal has some like earthquake insurance. Cause like that would have been insane. Yeah. I, that might have been a bad joke to make, right? Man, well, <laughs> sorry, it was a joke. Guys. Could, could have been, could have been worse. <laughs> yeah, it could have been way worse. But yeah, you know, I'm going to tell you. So my, my nephew, um, who is two, he's getting ready to turn three. So for, yeah. For the last, this is not a joke. This is serious. Just to, just to okay, preface okay, us. Okay. So <laughs> uh, definitely laugh at the end of this thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so for the last, I don't know, four or five months, he's calling his third birthday, his tornado birthday. <laughs> so my sister-in-law just posted a video of him in a fucking tornado costume. Ooh. Like it looks so dope, dude. And he's like, like how, go ahead. Uh, like, I, I want to see this cost. I mean, not now, but like, I want to see this costume. I'll send like, you. That I'll, sounds cool. Yeah. I'll yeah, text you a photo. Cool. Like, he looks, yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. actually, I'll send you a video, dude, because it fucking, yeah, yeah. Is he know, spinning around in circles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's, so, he's so little, dude, but he's like, yeah, I can't yeah, wait yeah, for yeah. my tornado birthday. And I'm like, what? Yeah. That's like so Tasmanian devil. Like, yeah. that's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, it's fucking great. Um, okay, so we got four bands on the bill. Yeah, we've talked about three. Yeah, what about the the fucking headliners? Which is uh, Slayer. I just, oh no, yeah, crop. Never mind. Crop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which is almost Slayer. Yeah. yeah. Well, close. we're 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 hoping we're waiting for that invitation from them to go on their next tour in like Hell two yeah. years. Uh, the 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 yeah the back together for again at last tour. Yeah, uh, that they're gonna announce ten years from now. So hopefully by then, like we're on their radar. So uh, let let's dig into you guys for a minute because I talked about us just <laughs> a, a little bit, but like okay. let's, I let's, mean, I'm here, so why not? You know? Yeah. Are you guys recording some new music? I hear we are. We are halfway through the new album, um, and we kind of had a an idea, and we. We've missed the deadline for that, but it's like we're taking our time. 
but like we've we've got like one more studio day coming up we're gonna knock out a few more songs and we should be done after that hell yeah um so like yeah we originally were shooting for like a springish next year but if it pushes a little bit that's okay we're just trying to make the absolute best thing we can do and yes we are working on new music we actually played a new song in detroit that no one's ever heard and we're like well it's first time in detroit let's well let's, let's play we have it we let's play the, the newest song and we rolled it out we played it it went over well and then we didn't play it on the rest of the run because <laughs> we're like we want to save it like we want to we don't want it to we don't want people we don't want people to sorry that's my mom uh she yeah it's yeah she just got out of surgery she's letting me know she's like oh uh, good it was just like her ankle it's not like you know like crazy crazy but, yeah. i was like why the fuck are you talking to me she just got out of surgery like i'd be like fuck you dude my mom's calling it's uh, she texts me she never calls me we, we just text them okay um but yeah she's just like i'm fine i'm out of surgery she's probably loopy they put you on medicine when they like do that kind of stuff right yeah yeah she's probably just like kind of drunk text or, well, more like this. I think she texts like this. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how many songs are going to be on the new album? I think we're shooting for six again. Okay. Uh, it was going to be four, and then the writing process has just kind of kicked in. and Now we're like, man, this, this, this just, why, why stop? You know, if, it's, if the juices are flowing, we get everything going. So Yeah. Uh, but we have we have that the first three are are done done like done hell yeah like ready to roll ready to roll tomorrow uh and like i said once we go back in with jason we're working with uh, jason groves at sneak attack uh he did uh the the hermano reissues mm-hmm. uh which was released on ripple uh he's done the new luna soul stuff um which is and he played bass in super fuzz is an excellent band. If you guys haven't heard of any of those three bands, you should check them out. Um, but yeah, Jason Groves is a bad man, and he's so easy to work with. And he just like, if you have a vision, he's really cool. But if he's got an idea, like he's really cool about like, this would be trap like, playing, you know. And like, yeah. it's, it's like just that nudge you need sometimes. And he's, we all love working with. Him. It's you know, it's hard to um, find someone who who can do that just right. I think. Yeah, I mean, he did our first the first EP. He's the guy that did all that. So we were very excited how that turned out. Hell yeah. Uh, we feel like the, the recording on that turned out real good. And the vibe's kind of just eerie. Like we were talking about, it's spooky. Got this like just eerie like vibe the whole time. Really dark. And I like the way he, he helped us kind of cultivate that. It's like Hell we yeah. never heard our sound before. That he, he didn't know what it would sound like. That's the first. You know, we, we were practicing in a 10 by 10 room at my house for the first bit until we started playing live. You know, so we in the studio it's, it was a surprise to us what it sounded like. like you know, oh, but, right. This is cool as fuck. Yeah, this is, yeah, man. You know, it's kind of cool to release something when you're writing music for yourself and you finally get to hear it and you're like, man, that was sick or that does sound yeah. sick together. And like, I feel like, you know, that was their, our real coming together moment at, with us was like being able to hear that back. Hell yeah. So do you guys have a working title for this new thing? No, we do not have a working title. Um, we bounced a couple around, but I'm not going to say anything until we decide. Um, overall, I kind of like to give Mark that, that cause like, you know, he's, he's the lyricist. He's the, the guy with content. the themes. Yeah. So, you know, me and him normally talk and then we'll come up with something. Um, but, uh, but yeah, man, he, uh, he, he always has good ideas. You know, he's, he's a good, he's a good words, wordsmith. Uh, Does he have a common theme going in, like in, uh, in this one? It's it feels very um so the first album is very uh abusive I feel like you know just like you know self hatred and self loathing and self education and, and a lot of those common themes over and over again to make the same mistake and repeat the same patterns. Uh, this one's got a really like there's a lot of soft pretty parts. We we kind of we we slow down a lot. We have some builds. We have some stuff that doesn't really feel like us. On the overall vibe of the of like just said, we've evolved as musicians together. Absolutely. And I think I think uh this one definitely kind of it feels like a rehab kind of vibe, really. Oh. Like it feels like like uh like you're feeling better, you're getting better. I don't know if it's a relapse yet, but uh 
as of right now, it's got a really like rehabby, like you know, like kind of uh, soul fills clean thing, and it's but it's still dirty, it's still dark, it's still evil. Um, you know, we've been playing Goddamn Burst for a couple of shows. You've seen that song, yep. And it's still, I mean, it still sounds like us. It's still us, but there's those little whispery, pretty parts in it, and. Mark gets to kind of do his clean thing in the beginning, and that's different for us because he's always like caterwauling, and like he's getting to explore his voice a lot, and that's kind of where we're just like we can give him the space to give him the space to like do some of that stuff and let him really explore how he wants to perceive himself as like, as far as an artist and the whole process. Yeah, it's 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 really um, from an outside perspective, like watching you guys like the first time i saw you was with extinction ad at magbar that was like our third show ever that's crazy you were there that was literally the third show we ever played so that was like we didn't have full stacks like we played our baby amps because we're like oh we can just use like four tens never that was the only show we've ever played like (laughs) not big amps and we're like no we gotta have big amps man you just gotta you gotta have this gotta have big amps it's gotta fucking rumble for sure it's it's the rule it's the rule Um, you know but to, to watch you guys from there till now to, to see your growth has been yeah. uh, it's been fucking awesome. It's been inspiring, you know, like yeah. I love it. Obviously yeah. I love you guys. Um, yeah. And to, to see you grow. And I'm honestly, I'm excited to hear the, the new shit that you guys are got yeah. together. Yeah. It's um, I, I've given a couple people like some sneak peeks um, and everybody's just like, <laughs> I can't send it to you. You got to be around me. We've got it locked down where we, we're not sending it to anybody. But next time we're around, it's like, we'll headphone you or hop in a car and I'll, I'll, I'll give All you right. a snippet. Uh, but, uh, but yeah. Um, Google Drive works fucking wonders, dude. We're not sending it to anybody. We're not. We're you don't have to. Just put it on not, Drive and give me access. I So they have me locked down. I don't, like, I can't give you the access. Like, I'm, they know I'll give it away. <laughs> Right. I'll just be sending it to everybody before it comes out. I'm like, listen to these three songs. They're so sick. Like, it, it, they're not even like, so we've heard the mastered versions, but like, I don't, I don't have those either. So this is just like the, like the stems, the stems sound great. Like, you know, an album's going to be good when like, before it's mastered, before it's mixed, the stems themselves are just yeah, like thick, like thick. Like, and J- Jason really let me explore like a, what I, my concept of how I wanted to base the sound, and I had like two different SVTs with eight tens going, and I had like a pedal on this one cranked and a pedal on that one cranked, and then I had like a one of my acoustic heads at a two fifteen clean, and like kind of blurred it all together, and like to make to build the tone that I wanted in the bass, and it's so good, so good. I mean, and I went back to you know I was using that T forty for a while, but I went back to the P bass because like it's just like that's what I do, that's just where it's that's where it lives, and. uh yeah, man, it sounds so good. like chills again. Chills again. Earlier. You get yeah. chills, man. You know it's good. Uh, but yeah, man, I just I can't wait. It's just like it's a whole new evolution of us. That like, you know, if we've done this on the first one, what we can we do on the second one? So we're just all to the walls, man. It's well, in. Uh, and because I mean, we've already been asked to do some cool stuff next year that I can't talk about. Uh, but like. I Why just, even bring okay. it up? You can't bring it up if you're not going to talk about it. I that mean, is I'll, that is I'll, the I'll, rule. Because I like I like leaving you in the suspense with things. Uh, so, uh, but uh, yeah, no, next year is going to be be as cool as this year. This year was awesome, and it's not even over yet. It's, right, it's just it could end tomorrow. No, not well, I mean, it could end tomorrow. But like, okay, I'm, like the year could end tomorrow, and everything we've done up to this point, I'd be completely okay with. But like we have the benefit show, so the year yeah. can end after the nineteen, and after that, I'm like, man, I'm ready to pack it in for the year, guys. Like that was a good one. Let's finish an album, right? Like it, right? Record, get it all done, get it packaged, get it printed, get it ready to release. So okay, benefit show October eighteenth, October eighteenth, Al's Bar in Lexington, Al's- Kentucky. Al's Bar, Al's Bar, fifteen dollars. Wait, $15, 15 American dollars, three of these. That looks better. I like that. One, two, three. Yeah, 15, uh, 15 American dollars. Um, four great bands, Pondigger, Bless and Bless, Fairy, and uh, 
And uh, yeah, proceeds are going to go to the North Carolina disaster relief, and we're gonna we're gonna so do it upright. You have uh, a very you have a specific like place where that is going. Yes, um, we're gonna donate it to the uh, American Red Cross of North Carolina. Um, I am not familiar with a lot of like super local food banks or anything. I can get directly give it to, but I know they are have the best track record as far as the allocation of the money going to what it needs to go to um, from the amount of research I did. On it. So uh, if I, I don't know, that's just, like, so I, and I know I'd like it to be more broad, but like, I just feel like if we do this, we dump it in and if other people want to jump on and donate to other areas. That's great. Like we can't hit everything, but we can pick a spot and you guys pick a different yeah. spot. We can all work together and make sure people get aid. And I think that was just our, our overall game plan was like, you know, uh, we got a lot of homies in Asheville and it's affected and the surrounding areas are affected and we can dump it there. We know it's going to go there. And that's where that's, that was just the call that we all, we all four made. Um, and doing this, um, it's starting to get dark. Can you see me? Yeah, I, I getting can. Ominous? But it is definitely uh, getting dark and it's getting dark yeah, kind of yeah. quick. Yeah. Yeah. I'm outside. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's that's a benefit show. I'm really stoked for it. I want to see people out. I want to see the community support. Um, dude, even if you can't like come, bro, don't just donate fifteen dollars to the same foundation. Like, just like if if you're if you can come, donate. If you gotta leave early, don't feel bad. If you gotta show up, it's cool. It's cool. It's gonna run all night, man. So, uh, but I would have like, you thought about just just silly thought. Have you thought about putting up a GoFundMe? to link to the page or something of that sort. And... So what I would I think what we were gonna do is uh we're trying to get a QR code and then people can just donate from there. And like so it doesn't have to go to the I mean I guess I maybe a, a go fund me for the event. I don't know. I've never done one of those. I could look into yeah, if you do a GoFundMe, essentially, um, you could you could do a QR code that links them right to the GoFundMe, and then gotcha. You know, all of those proceeds you just forward right onto like the Red Cross. Gotcha. That's actually a good idea. I like that. I'm gonna I'm gonna look into that tomorrow morning. I'm sitting there drinking my coffee before I head off to work. That's a I like that. Um, uh, a dude, bad idea. I'm all about raising some money. I love fucking. Yeah, yeah. I love digging in and and doing shit. Um, we yeah. did. You know, when we had that that real bad hurricane that like devastated Puerto Rico and Houston and all that, yeah. we um uh we got connected with someone at UPS that bought a shipping container and we filled that shipping container with like clothes, water, non perishables, um, uh, like full to the fucking max and sent that yeah. fucking thing out. It was it was Sick. really cool to be a fucking part of that, you know. Yeah. Well, I think you're gonna lose me here shortly, so probably. Uh, yeah. Do this. I'm sure you've got things to. I'm yeah. I'm just gonna go to bed because I. There we go. Uh, I did not sleep this weekend. Um, I I think from Wednesday night until last night, I got a total of about twelve hours. Yeah. So. Yeah, you need some sleep. Go to sleep. For sure. Braun, yeah. thank you. I appreciate Anytime, you. Anytime, man. I always, I'll, always enjoy talking to you. I'll yeah. see you next two weeks. Yeah, in a couple of weeks. weeks. Yep. Yeah, man. Hell Look yeah, brother. Have a good night. Yeah. Be safe. Later, man. Later.